So guys, today we have a video for you um, in my monthly dividend Robinhood account. I'm gonna go over all the positions I have in there as well as the account as a whole and what positions I plan on selling or I have limit orders for and why I'm doing that. So check it out, this is my monthly Robinhood dividend portfolio. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Michael Romero, small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things and document everything I'm doing in my journey. Hopefully take you guys with me and uh, teach you guys from my mistakes and from my wins. So <laughs> that's the plan here. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because we all know that's what us YouTubers want. It's just for you to hit the like button. So. so guys, since the last portfolio video, my account has done a lot of things. I've made a couple of new purchases and I made some limit orders that I'm ready to get rid of some positions. Um, I'm sure you guys know what a couple of them may be if you've been watching my previous videos, my newer videos, between there and now. But first, if you wanna join Robinhood and claim a free stock while doing so, just for signing up using my link, go to the link in the pinned comment. All you gotta do is sign up using that link and you'll get a free stock just for signing up using Robinhood. You don't have to put any bank account information in there. Just sign up and use it and you'll be helping me out because I get a free stock when you sign up as well. If you don't want to use it, perfectly fine. I have other links in the description if you want to use a different brokerage like Webull or M1 Finance or Acorns. Also have this dividend spread sheet, this tracker dividend spread sheet um, in there absolutely free. If you want to check it out, uh, it'll show you mine. And if you email me, I will... Uh, send you a copy for free. <laughs> so guys, as you can see here, the portfolio is at $4,762.70. And we are basically under 1% as of Friday, as of May 22nd, we were, we were up a little bit. We shot down 33%, but now we were up. Now on the week, we are up 3.6%, which is $1.65. On the month, we're up 5.28%, which is $238.01. We're still down 600 bucks, which is 11% on three months. But on the one year chart, we are down only 400 and only 400 bucks, $421. Um, <clears throat> remember that's just on this portfolio. Now, as far as the capital gains, of course I do want capital gains, but knowing that this is a dividend portfolio, I'm more focused on getting dividends, uh, solid dividends coming in, you know, um, rather than making all my money from the gains. Now, as far as everything, since I started this dividend portfolio, I probably <clears throat> am down only half of this on the year from all of the dividends I collected so far. Because remember, Robinhood doesn't, um, they don't put dividends into the the gain or whatever they don't they don't include dividends into your gains or your losses for your whole portfolio height of my portfolio was 500 i'm sorry 5500 bucks so well we'll see exactly what's gonna happen over the next couple months i mean we did recover quite a bit as you can see from here we were down 26 percent now we're only down 11 percent. so we did shake back a little bit Anyway, let's get into the portfolio right away. So, one of my largest positions is SPHD. <laughs> Guys, I do have these in here. They are in order from biggest equity to smallest. So, SPHD, I own 20 shares at an average cost of $36.20. My equity is $646 and I am down 12%, um, which is $89.91. This is a, a monthly dividend stock, and this is a good one. If you don't know what SPHD is, it's an ETF that tracks the 50 highest paying dividend stocks out of the 75 least volatile stocks. So it's, it's pretty good to start with. It pays monthly, it's got a solid dividend, and right now it's in my opinion, extremely underpriced, and I'm really trying to get this as close to 
its current price is at right now, at least my average. Next, we have Coca-Cola. We all know what Coca-Cola is. As of right now, <clears throat> I have um, 10 shares and a little over 10 shares with my equity of $463.93. My average cost is $50.35. And I think when I first got in, I, I was averaged at around like $53, $54, somewhere around there. So we did drop it a little bit um, since this whole crash happened. But I'm down $53.87, which is roughly 10%. But again, guys, it's not about the capital gains when it comes to a dividend portfolio. It's about the dividends coming in monthly um, and over the long term, basically. Oh, I didn't mean to get out. So next we have a new position, which is Apple. I own 1.209478 shares. Uh, my average cost is $281.93. Right now it's at $319, which is a little overpriced for me to buy into at the moment, I feel. Um, but we may have to average it slowly because I do want a bigger position in Apple. Um, my average price, uh, so my equity value is $385.82 and I'm up 13.5%, which is 44 bucks and 83 cents. And it is almost to where it was before that big market drop. And if you look over the past five years, it is up 140%. So that's awesome. Over the past year, it's up 77%. So next we have MJ. It's an ETF, Alternative Harvest ETF. It is a marijuana ETF. So uh, I have 25 shares, well, a little over 25 shares, and my equity value is $359.93 with an average cost of $16.61. Now you see it is at 14 bucks right now. It has been shooting up as of lately. That's because everybody's buying the old pot because of uh, everyone's in the quarantine and getting bored. So everyone's just smoking it up, which is a school. It's whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> I'm down $59.67. And I actually just, I actually started buying into this stock um, at around 20 bucks. So whenever it dropped, I, I definitely brought my average cost down quite a bit. Next, we have AT&T. I own about 9.69 shares of this bad boy at an average cost of $33.76. Right now we are still undervalued, anything under 30 bucks. Me personally with at and I'm trying to get on and, and definitely average down to it. With an equity value of $290, I am down $37.29. That is 11%. Next we have Pfizer. I own six shares of Pfizer at an average cost of $35.55. So we are up on Pfizer, twelve dollars and thirty-nine cents, which is which is five point seven six percent. Next, we have PSEC Prospect Capital, own fifty-one point nine seven shares of this at an average cost of five dollars and ninety-two cents. Um, my equity value is two hundred sixty-five dollars and six cents, and I'm down thirteen percent, which is forty-two dollars and forty-two cents. This is a monthly paying dividend stock as well. Next, we have O Realty Income, another monthly paying dividend stock. You guys know O. O is a great company to own. I own 4.17 shares of it at an average cost of $55.88. So I'm only down 6.68%, which is $15.58. Uh, equity value is $217.75. Next, we have Bank of America. Um, I own 10 shares. A little over 10 shares at $25.55. I actually just bought a, a few more, I think one or two more shares of it the other day, uh, this past week, I'm sorry, uh, at this nice price we have here. So uh, equity value, $230.73. The total return is, uh, I'm down $29.35, which is $11.29. Next we have Stag Industrial. So Stag Industrial owns seven, shares, a little over seven and a half shares at an average cost of $27.83. So we are down a little bit right now. We are down 8.86%, which is $18.64. That is $191 uh, of equity value I have in this stock. Next, we have AGNC Investment Corporation. This is another month. Both of these are monthly stocks, AGNC and, and Stag. So 14, uh, I own four, a little over 14 shares. 
Um, as you can see, we are down right now, $31.84. My average cost is $15.39. My equity value is $1.80. Uh, is $188.85. Next, we have Verizon. I own 3.03 shares of Verizon. Average cost $59.44. So we are down a little bit right now, We're down $16.84, which is 8.95%. My equity value is $164.14. As you can see, we're starting to get lower into um, my equity of shares I own because we're getting closer to the bottom of the list. <laughs> Next, we have Aflac, which is a newer position, not the newest, but a newer one. I own 4.2222 shares, with an average cost of $37.48. So I am down $11.72, which is roughly 7%. And this, uh, my equity value is $146.51, only 3% of my portfolio. Um, MPW. MPW, I own 7.731113 shares um, at an average cost of at an average cost of $17.95. My equity value is $13, uh, $135.06. And I'm down $3.68. And I do have a limit sell on here. Uh, let's see the limit sell. So limit sell is for seven shares at a $18.10. So I do want to get out of this position because I feel like I can put this money, um, I can make it work a little bit harder for me somewhere else. This isn't a, uh, a monthly dividend stock and I don't plan on putting it, this money that I get from it into a monthly dividend stock. But um, <clears throat> I do plan on putting it into a more uh, quality stock. Now don't get me wrong, MPW is a great company and it's made me quite a bit of money over the past, <laughs> but I just think it's time for me to, to let go of MPW and get put this money into a, different stock. Next we have Iberia Bank, IBKC, on three shares at $51.29 and it is down to $39.37. So I'm down 35 bucks, which is 23%. My equity value is $118.19 on here, which is like almost two and a half percent of my portfolio. Next we have um, RTX, Raytheon Technologies. This is the newest addition to this portfolio. So. I own 2.270636 shares at an average cost of $57.26. Um, my equity value is $136 and my, this is 2.86% two two of my uh, portfolio. And I'm up $6.26, which is roughly 4.82%. Now let's see. It's got a market cap of 51 billion, so it's a decent sized company. Its PE ratio is 12.631 and its dividend yield is 3.167. So it's pretty decent. Now let's check out what Raytheon Technologies is. Raytheon Technologies Corp engages in the provision of aerospace and defensive systems and services for commercial, military, and government customers. Um, that's really all we need, we need to know as of right now. They actually did a merger with another company um, recently. As you can see, well this isn't from the merger, but look, it was trading pretty high. And then the drop happened. You know, we all know about the drop because everyone lost quite a bit of money from it. But they merged with another company and this company has a great outlook for the future. It has government contracts for like nuclear missiles and all kind of other stuff. So check this company out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you're in it or what do you guys think of this company. Next we have Starbucks. I own one share at $80.07, so we almost made our money back from it. So I'm down $2.40, which is roughly 3%, and this is 1.63% of my portfolio, which is $77.67 equity value. Next we have Intel. I own one, a little over one share, $59.57 is my average cost. It is 1.44% of my portfolio and equity value is $68.76. Total return is $2.96, which is 4.5%. And I do have my first dividend coming from it on June 1st as for uh, 36 cents, so yeah. Next we have Washington Prime Group. This was a free stock on 2.735 um, shares from it. Average cost of 3 36 cents. Um, it's like 
is basically nothing. Um, 0.04% of my portfolio. Uh, equity value a dollar point eight one. So yeah, um, I just keep reinvesting the dividend from WPG back into itself. But I think they cut their dividend, so I might just see where this takes me. Um, but I was just reinvesting the dividend I got from it back into it. Next we have Ford. I think this is the last one on our list. Yeah, Ford. Um, I own seventy shares, a little over seventy shares at its average cost of seven dollars and eighty five cents, which is three hundred ninety five percent of $395 equity value, 8% of my portfolio. My total return is $157.40 down. That's how much I'm down. And I'm down, it's, it's negative 28% basically. Um, might wonder why this is at the bottom of the list because I am looking to sell this. So I have a limit sale at $7.90. So I just wanna make a little bit back from it and get rid of it. That's all 70 shares. It's good for 90 days. I want to get out of this because one, they cut their dividend. Two, the path that they're taking now, I don't, I'm not necessarily not agreeing with it. I just feel like if I'm gonna put my money into a um, automotive stock, it would be like Tesla or the new VTIQ merger that's gonna happen with Nikola and whatever, all of that. I'd much rather put my money into something like that than, than Ford. Now don't get me wrong, Ford is a, it's a good company if you want it. But since they cut their dividend, I've been kind of looking at it and deciding um, I'd much rather put my money to work somewhere else for me. <clears throat> so yeah guys, so that was my entire portfolio. Um, as you can see, we only have a few stocks in the green as of now, but all my other stocks are inching closer to the green, to be back in the green again. So that feels good. But like I said, I'm not necessarily worried about capital gains. I'm more worried about the consistency of the dividends that I'm getting. So guys, let me know in the comments below if any of your dividends got cut, if you sold them, if you're holding on to them, or if you're trying to buy more of them. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, look, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps this channel out more than you guys know. Um, if you made it this far, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Turn a great join this little family we got going on, guys. We're so close to 1,000 subs. Hopefully, we get it within the next month by the end of June, which I have a strong feeling that we will. So thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving this channel um, this past year, really. Um, keep on the lookout for new content guys also let me know in the comments below what, what type of content you want to see from me um, if you got suggestions for videos any anything like that I'm willing to do because um, like I said I'm here to learn and teach at the same time anyway guys look, look if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me go ahead and click one of these videos I'm gonna get out of here guys you have a great day